In today's notes, we're going to take a look at the transformations of quadratic equations. I know the, the short unit has been an absolute value, but I just wanted to do all the transformations within one unit um, and not do it in two, so I thought I would just throw this in at the end of this unit. And I want you to recall the equation in vertex form of absolute value, which is y equals a times the absolute value of x minus h plus k, where the h, k is the vertex. So it's very similar for quadratic. The function is absolute value. So for quadratic, we just replace the absolute value symbol with the parentheses in the square as a quadratic equation is a degree 2. So vertex form for quadratic is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So h, k, again, is the vertex. Since the axis of symmetry always goes through your vertex or your turning point, and this is the point h, k, this is a vertical line, so it's always x equals whatever um, point it goes through on the x-axis, so this is going to be x equals h. Opening up. Now the parabola, just like the v, opens up. We need to look at the a value. If the a value is greater than 0, that means positive. If we have a positive a value, then it's going to be opening up and opening down if we have a negative a value, which means less than 0 in terms of an inequality. The next two lines deal with wider and narrower than our standard function y equals x squared. And in that case, we take a look at the a value as well. However, y equals x squared has an a value of 1. So this all compares to that value of 1. If the value is less than 1, we have a wider parabola. And we're looking at the absolute value of the a because the negative just tells us if it's upside down or right side up. So the, if the absolute value of a is less than 1, we're going to have a wider parabola, and it's going to be more narrow if the absolute value of a is greater than 1. The difference um, between the next two equations is the minus h versus plus h. And when we have the minus within the function notation, the parabola is going to shift right. And when it's a plus, it's going to shift left. And the next two, there's no plus or minus to the function itself, but to the, at the end, we have our plus k or minus k. So that's going to move it up or down. When it's negative, it's going to go down. When it's positive, it's moving up. So which expression represents the translation or the movement of that parabola from one to the next? So here's y equals x squared, and we're trying to determine the equation for this parabola here. So how did we move? So let's take a look at the vertex. Vertex is right here at 0, 0, and now it's at 4, negative 2. So we went right 4, down 2. So in the equation, remember the x value is opposite, so it's either going to be this one or this one, as it has the minus 4 within the function notation. And then the graph shifted down, or my h, or k rather, is negative 2. So that's going to be choice 4. Number 2, consider the graph of y equals x squared as shown to the right. On the same set of axes, sketch the graph of the equations. So this is a sketch. We don't need to get out our graphing calculator, but we're going to take a look at each um, by noting the vertex, if it's right side up or upside down. The vertex here, again, I'm looking here, x is the opposite, so negative 5, 3, and the opposite of a negative 6 is a positive 6, negative 8. So negative 5, 3, negative 5, 1, 2, 3. So here's the vertex of this curve. I know it's going to be upside down because of the negative. If you take a look at the um, y equals x squared, the original function from the vertex, it's up 1 over 1. Now, since there's no number out front, this parabola is actually going to be congruent to the other. The size stays the same. It's just we're going to flip it upside down and then shift it left 5 and up 3. So over 1, and then let's just sketch 
the curve. So here's y equals negative x plus 5 squared plus 3. The other one, let me grab the pink pen, 6 negative 8 is the vertex. It's right side up as it's, there's no positive or negative out front here. So right side up, I'm going to do the up one over one to kind of give me the start of the curve. We don't need to stretch it too much. So this is y equals x minus 6 squared minus 8. And number three, we're going to describe the movement, the shift, the translation. How is this parabola? What's happening to it as we go from y equals x squared to part a, 4x squared plus 1. Well, a positive 1 to a positive 4, it's staying right side up, but that's going to make it more narrow. So this one is narrower. There is no parentheses. Um, or the binomial squared. However, you could write it as x plus or minus 0 squared plus 1 because x minus 0 just gives you x. And this x minus 0 means there's no shift left or right. However, we are going to have a shift up 1. So with the next one, I'm looking out front, I'm in negative 2 thirds. The negative means it's going to open down and be wider. Within the parentheses we have a plus 7, so that means it's going to be shifted left 7 units. And no plus or minus outside of that parentheses, so it's not moving up or down. And we're going to finish with writing a quadratic equation. The paragraph reads, I'm going to scroll all the way down, but read the paragraph. The parabola opens up in the upward or positive direction. This indicates that A is a positive number. The vertex has been shifted or translated from the ori origin, which is 0, 0, to the point 2, negative 4. So the values of H and K are 2 and negative 4, respectively. Substitute the coordinates of a point on the graph and solve for A and you have your resulting equation. So we need to use the vertex and a point on each of the curves to write its equation. I'm going to write the standard form up here. So y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So I'm going to note the vertex. So our vertex is 2, negative 3. So that means the h is 2. The k is negative 3. And then we're going to use a point on the curve. And let's use um, 4, negative 1. So that means here's my x and my y. So x equals 4, y equals negative 1. So using this, or these values, we're going to solve for the a to determine how wide or narrow it is or what coefficient is going to affect the width. So substituting y is negative 1, so negative 1 equals, I'm going to leave a alone because that's what I'm solving for, parenthesis x minus 4 squared plus k which is a negative 3. And what I forgot to do is I can see as I left the x in there, I got to substitute my x value. So this actually, x should be a 4. So what did I make the substitution? Oh, and h should actually be a 2. So y negative 1 equals a times x, which is 4, minus h 2 squared plus 3. So now I have negative 1 equals a times 4 minus 2, 2 squared minus 3. Because the plus minus when you add a negative, that's just simply subtraction. So add the 3 over, so we get a by itself, and we have 4 equals, I can't, I'm sorry, negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So 2 equals 4a. Divide by 4, and a is equal to 1 half. So now I take my vertex and my a value to write the equation. So y equals right side up, so 1 half makes sense, a positive 1 half for A, and then it's X minus H, 
So h is 2, x minus 2 squared, which indicates a shift right, and then down 3 would be minus 3. Same process, next one. So the vertex here is negative 1, 4. So h is negative 1, k is 4. And the point on the curve that I'm going to use, let's do 0, negative 1. So that means x is 0, y is negative 1. And now we're going to solve for a. So y equals would be negative 1 equals, a is going to stay alone, x minus h, x is 0, minus h, which is a negative 1. When you subtract a negative, it turns to positive squared, plus k. So instead of k, we need to put in the plus 4. So I'm going to subtract the 4. We get negative 5 equals a times, well, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1, and then a times 1 is a. So a is equal to negative 5. Using the vertex in a, a is negative, which makes sense because it's narrow and upside down. We get y equals negative 5 times x minus h, and when you subtract a negative 1, it becomes plus 1. Also, a shift left is positive, squared plus 4.